the boss of Mercedes literally said they must have been drunk to sign it off. I mean, it was way back in 2016, we heard of something called the codename project Nebula, this mysterious collab between Aston Martin and Red Bull Advanced Technologies and an aero genius called Adrian Newey. And then around a year later, the Frankfurt Motor Show 2017, Lewis Hamilton and the CEO of Mercedes announced they're gonna take their all-conquering hybrid turbo V6 engine from the Formula One car and make it street legal within two years. Which, as it turned out, was um, quite ambitious. So the first thing that these cars have in common is really difficult childhoods. COVID lockdowns, part shortages, supply chain disruption, economic turmoil, and the sheer complication of actually building, testing, and homologating these cars was a nightmare. Aston Martin got through two CEOs. The boss of Mercedes literally said they must have been drunk to sign it off. But finally, Aston got the first of the 150 Valkyrie coupes out the door in the final weeks of 2021, and the first of the 275 AMG ones reached patient customers in early 2023. Both cars have now finished production and are sold out, 